Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Manny B. Investing in BI. And we're going to take a look at the Teddy Swap NFTs, the previews that have been released. And we're going to talk about a few things. So, in the previous video, which I've hoped you've watched, description will have the link to that video. Go ahead and check out the announcement, uh, the video that I did on the INO, original details, minting information, etc. So, in short, this is going to be kind of my opinion video, my review, my ra rating of what is going on or what has happened thus far. So, a project I'm bullish on. I like the team. I like what they're doing. I like the look. I like the speed of which they're operating. I like the things that they're doing overall. I'm bullish on this group of people and what they're creating. I think Teddy Swap is going to be a decent application on Cardano, open source, uh, very, very quick, very swift in their operation. Uh, the people involved, they're from DC Spark, they're from other uh, places from Cardano um, that I'm familiar with and comfortable with, especially the, the DC Spark connection, right? So I believe that these people are capable of doing what they're saying they're going to do. They're showing improving, they're releasing details, evidence, etc. swiftly. I haven't seen that with any other project in Cardano. I've never seen anyone move as swiftly as them, uh, kind of come with it, have every, all their ducks in a row. That being said, the NFTs. All right, so what is the, po the point of the NFT? What is the goal? That I don't think has been outlined like super clearly. Uh, taking things at face value, I can say that these NFTs are to give the users some utility, more, more utility than other uh, protocols, other dApps have on Cardano thus far. So, and it's also to help them raise money, clearly to help them raise money. My issues, one, I have two issues with the project overall. One, the amount of tokens. Five billion is kind of high for a project governance for a project that is only doing stable pairs. At least that's what we all believe. I don't know. Maybe they could change uh, in the future, but for right now, eh, 5 billion is really high. We need to start looking at the schedule when those tokens are going to be released. Uh, at what point will we reach the maximum supply? That is going to super dilute everyone. Uh, it, depending on how quickly we get to that total. I hear a lot of, uh, you know, what is the Teddy token going to be worth? What it, no one really knows. What we can do is we can speculate depending on what the supply is going to look like. I imagine it's going to, with demand, in the very, very beginning, probably will go as high as maybe a couple of ADA, in my opinion. But I think it will swiftly drop as demand falls, like it typically always does. But five, uh, five billion is what we're looking at at the end of the day. You know, and I'm a big, I'm, I'm big on smaller token count. Just let it, like, make it reasonable. For this project, I, I would say I would be comfortable with anything under one billion. I just don't think we need five billion tokens. But you know, they have their reasons for doing what they do. All I can do is complain about it. And they and if they want to, they can follow up and, and give us the reason why they went with that number. Um the price of the NFT with 10,000 NFTs, and they're saying just over eight thousand whitelisted addresses. There's no guarantee that all of those addresses will pick one up. There's no guarantee that half of those addresses will grab two or three. I am not anticipating a sellout on this NFT. Just not. At least from the initial whitelisting. Uh, maybe when it hits, you know, retail, everybody can access it and everybody can buy. Then maybe they could, there could be a sellout, but I'm not going to be shocked if there isn't a sellout. Now let's take a look at the NFTs themselves. Before we got the price of 350 ADA, 
which uh, I personally thought was a record, but it's not. There were, I guess there were some projects that, that did like 400 ADA, something like that. 350 ADA is up there. Up there. I mean, I can get... I can get a Series 5 Cardano Kids, which is the Pepe uh, versions, for like 500 ADA, like a full set. Like, I could probably get a full set for 500. And we're talking about one... NFT and, and mind you, those are an, a Cardano OG project. I think like the second NFT project to mint on Cardano. Um, the artwork is really good. It's funny, uh, collectible. I don't really see these as collectible. I see these more as a utility token than an NFT. It it is an NFT, but it's just like the quality is kind of low. I mean, look at the detail. Like it's cute enough. Like, I like that one. I think it's cute. Same thing with this one. Think it's cute. But then when you start to kind of look and get down to the nitty gritty, you look at the edges, they're kind of rough around the edges. Kind of looks like they were done like subcritical. Looks like it was put together in Microsoft Paint. And that's a, <laughs> so that's a technical file. I mean, I, I, I kind of agree with him. It does look kind of rough. More like clip art. Yeah. It's clip art. The quality is really low. Like 350 ADA. It's like, geez. Like, and like the, the ears don't line up with the helmet. It looks like they could have probably put a better cut on there. The edges are really rough. It's like they used, they used a rough like digital pencil or pen to make this. Like, eh. like I said, cute. But 350 ADA cute? No. But I get it. They're trying to raise money. But what they really should or need to do is they really need to come with it when it comes to utility. And they need to, after they collect the funds, because let's say, you know, let's say they sell out. Let's say they sell out 350 a pop. That's 3.5 million ADA. That's a lot. That's a lot of ADA. Let's take a look. 350 million. Oh gosh, stop it. 35,000, 350,000, 3.5 milli. That is 1.2 million. That is a lot of money. And yes, does, d does development cost money? Yeah, but they've built this stuff. It's up. Like they're, they're getting ready to launch in March, as they said. So I'm sure they're not floating this project with a bunch of debt. I'm sure that they've, they've been managing, whether it be uh, funding from some VC, some third party, or they've been doing this for the free and they're going to get their money from the team token share down the line, or they've been supporting themselves with other jobs. It's here. Like, what are you going to do with all that money? $1.2 million, 1.25, almost million dollars from just an NFT. That's pretty dang low effort. What are they going to do with it? Future development. That's what they say. Okay, I can buy that. Pay themselves. They deserve a they deserve a reward for the work that they've put in. They're doing more than just Teddy Swap. I think they're building some tooling and stuff. Uh, it's all open source, so it benefits the community. So I think a lot of that gives them a pass, but it's still a lot of money. And what are we getting for it? We're getting uh, a cash of ADA or Teddy tokens from the FISO, depending on what one we get, what, what bear we mint. And then I have questions. Are they all very similar? Like what's the rarity look like? There's five tiers. What makes, are these the rare tiers? Are these tier ones? What are tier fives look like? Are they look like, do they look like garbage? Are they really plain basic? Do they not have clothes? Do they not have things like this? You know, the space helmet, the space suit, you know, tuxedo, the top hat like like what are we looking at like 
Usually in the past, when an NFT project shows off their NFTs, the NFTs that they show are the rare ones that like nobody's going to get. They probably already have the people picked out that are going to get them. You know, whatever, that's fine. That's their prerogative. They've got insiders. Insiders are insiders. There's nothing we can do about that. Will they reward community members? People that are moderators? Will they reward people that carry the, the, the discussion in the Discord, that carry discussion in the Telegram group? Will those people be remembered? Will they be honored? Will they be given a discount? Will they be given a rare? Will they be given a special version? Um, will they be given tokens? Will they be given a bonus airdrop? Uh, people that content creators like myself and a few others that I've noticed out there creating consistently creating Teddy swap content, consistently updating the community, keeping the community calm. Will those people be given, you know, a thank you, special treatment, anything like that? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't expect anything. I don't make these videos to get something other than connect with the community or build a new community I just like creating content. I like talking about this stuff. I like documenting what is going on in things that I'm interested in. I'm interested in Cardano. I'm interested in these DeFi applications. It would have been so cool to be there in the beginning of Ethereum to document like Uniswap and, and you know, their, their humble beginnings and how things played out in the chats and in the telegrams, how that all played out. I wasn't there for that, but I'm here for Cardano. So I feel like, you know, with my voice, and, and me having the, the ability to really research things and, and take in everything and be really critical and, and, and steer projects in a forward way, uh, that is why I'm here. So could I recommend a person? And I'm going to say a person uh, like, like I view myself, just a regular guy that doesn't really put their life savings into this stuff. Uh, they, they DCA from time to time. They're not putting big bucks into these projects. Could I recommend to that person to get in the FISO? Yeah, absolutely. I think the FISO is going to be interesting. Uh, again, I wanted to document it. I think that it's going to be worthwhile. I think this DAP is going to be worthwhile. DAP, uh, like I said, I like the team. I like their, their, their roots, where they've come from, what they're doing, open source, decentralization. I'm liking it, taking care of uh, small stake pools. I'm, I'm loving it. And I'm sure the stake pools are loving it as well. And they want to support this project. That's why I'm here. But can I, can I say, go out and get this, this NFT, go out and grab this NFT. If you're, if you don't get it, you're going to be sorry. It's going to sell out. We're going to pump. We're going to go to the moon. No, I, I, I just can't see that. Is it possible? Absolutely. This could be one of the, the next great NFTs and it, it, it makes everyone in the space mad. It makes all the NFT degens upset and angry and they'll attack us and they'll make fun of us. That could happen, but I don't expect it to. I expect it to sell, do a decent amount, maybe half, maybe 5,000. I wouldn't be shocked if they, if they offed about 5,000, they got about, which is still a ton of money, but the price is really high. It is really high. 350. That is a lot. That is a lot. Anything over 50 ADA for me is tough. It's really tough. Unless the art is just supreme. If the project is already built out and they're not using the funds from the NFT sales to build the project, I say, okay, maybe. But they're going to use this as a fundraiser. I get it. The NFTs are kind of low effort. I get it. But when you get that cash, Here's some things I would recommend. I would say hire an artist. I mean, I, I've, I've got my artists. I like, I like Nick Chills, Foul Crowd. He's an amazing artist. He makes good stuff. Nice guy. Nice team. Nice group of people behind him. Uh, I like him. If they were to go out and get someone like that, that could redo the bears, redraw them, uh, make a V2. And then airdrop them to the people that paid for them originally. I think that would, that would be great. Wouldn't take a lot of time. Wouldn't take a lot of investment. But I'd like to really, really be proud of the NFT. Right now, I get it. It's, just a, it's mostly just for utility. It's kind of cute. I get it. But if this is going to be a long road, if this is going to be a serious application, we're going to need some serious, serious utility. We're going to need some serious artwork. Like if it's going to be an NFT. 
like hopefully we are, we are able to take these burn them or you know maybe keep them uh, and then we just get airdrop the second one who knows however they want to do it I'm, I'm down i'm open um but i would say this being the final product for 350 ada it's it's, it's tough man am i going to get one yes I believe I am. It was tough. I'm like, man, I could do a lot with 350 ADA. Um, there's a lot of projects I want to kind of get into and start doing videos on. I sell fund. So it's, it's always my own money. I'm not getting paid for this stuff. So when I do it, I'm doing it. Can I recommend that the everyday person that's just a regular crypto guy looking to get into stuff, looking to make some money, should they buy this NFT? I, it, it's really, it's going to be really difficult for me to recommend it. Um, if you've got money, if you've got money, you you feel good about the project, you want to be here in the beginning, and you want to be a part of this, and you've got the ADA. Shoot, go for it. Why not? I'm going to do it. I might regret it. Who knows? <laughs> I'm doing this for you guys. I want to make sure that we document this project the right way, and the only way that we can document this the right way is if we got skin in the game, I'm putting my ADA where my mouth is and I'm going to grab one. I'm on the white list. I've delegated. I've done all of that. I'm going to try to earn as much Teddy as I possibly can go through. And we're going to do this thing the right way. Like I promised you and act like we have been doing with the Indigo protocol. We're going to buy low. We're going to get free. We're going to get cheap. We're going to sell high. We're going to, buy back in low we're going to keep rolling we're going to create moon bags we're going to use the protocol we're going to uh we're going to add liquidity provide liquidity we're going to get the rewards we're going to vote in governance we're going to do all of that we're going to be a, a, a upstanding citizen we're going to be part of the community that is what i want to document that is what i want to show you and how you can benefit or maybe not benefit from doing things the right way that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here to document. I'm here to deliver the news. I'm here to show and prove. I'm not just going to talk it. I'm not just an inf this influencer that's just telling you to do it, go out and do things that I'm not willing to do. I'm going to do it first. And if I get wrecked, so be it. That's just a part of the game, right? So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you are riding with me in this, uh, this, this journey of mine with Teddy Swap. And I hope the team, they watch the video, they watch it all the way through, they take the criticism, they don't take it too harshly, and maybe listen to the community. If my words are being echoed through the, the channels, whether it be the Twitter replies, the Discord, the Telegram group, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they take a, take a listen to what we have to say and make some adjustments if they do. If not, it's all good. I'm still going to be here, still going to create content, no harm, no harm, no foul. But I did want to take a look at the Discord and read, but this video is getting kind of long. I don't want to keep you guys for 30 minutes. This is usually don't make 20 minute videos, but it is what it is. So we'll let you get out of here and I'll come through with another video just going through the sentiment on the, the on Twitter going into the chat when the announcement was made and looking at the questions and feelings that the community had. So if you're going to grab one of these Teddy Swap uh, NFTs uh, for the INO, let me know by hitting that like, dropping a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think and feel about it. Is the price too high? Uh, could it go higher? Is the amount of NFTs too high? Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit that like, hit the share, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.